Austin Forkner, I ride the 250 Pro Class and I ride for Monster Energy Pro Series Kawasaki. So we had the first part of the season and it was going pretty well. I mean, I went into the to the East Coast break, I guess, with like, I think I was like 11, 13, somewhere in that range points off. Well, we thought we still had like four races left, which is definitely doable in four races. And then COVID hit and then it threw everything out of line. And then um, we ended up going to Salt Lake and running, we only got three races where we were supposed to have four. Um, and I kind of dominated Salt Lake the first two, like one, first one, won the second one. And then the last one, I was in second and I knew I needed to win. I was, I mean, for me to have a shot at the championship, I think I was like six points out or something, I had to win. So I was, um, a lot of pressure. yeah, I was, I was gonna try this, on the Dragon's back that I crashed on, I was gonna try to jump and just tap it into the turn. And I was looking at it all day and I was like, dude, I gotta do something to make up time. So I was gonna try that and just got up to the face and backed out. Um, Cause I was, I didn't think I had it. So, and I just barely missed it. The second one was low, the second whoop was lower all day. And I barely missed it and just fell in too much and just got a buck into the, into the turn. And then that was, that was it. So now I'm back and I just started riding last week. With my ACL, I was out for six months and I wasn't as itchy to get back for some reason, but like from this, because I felt like I was so, so strong on the bike and felt so good, I'm like, I was itching to get back. So I was like, as soon as the doctor, just waiting, 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 as soon as the doctor gave me the okay, go. Like, um, and he gave me the okay, so I, so I jumped straight in. <laughs> Robbie started making me before every race. We have a big mirror in the, in the pro circuit rig and he started making me look in the mirror before he would come in and say, look in the mirror and tell yourself you're a bad mother -er. And I would do it. And then I would tell myself that on the line and I would just constantly just, I'm the best, I'm the best, you know, all that stuff over and over. And I mean, it, I, f I feel like it worked at least at a few races it worked. So that's, uh, that was something that he did this year and, and that him just kind of beating in like, dude, we've done the work. We've done so much work. Like you're a bad dude on the bike. You can beat all of these guys. Just beating that into my head over and over and over and over until I believe it. And then I have confidence and then you know, that's uh, something he's really reinforced in the past couple of years and I think it's worked.